Immutability. Immutability in the blockchain is for sure one of the main characteristics that everybody knows about, but luckily is one of the people understand the least. Let's have a look at immutability, what it is for real and how it is achieved. Hi everyone, welcome to another cafe. So immutability, uh, why is this so uh, such a big issue uh, around, around blockchain technology? Because uh, since uh, inf digital information was invented, so we can call um, Shannon theorem probably, information and data always had the characteristics that they can change over time. So if you have data, whether it is on a database, on a file, you can change that data whenever you want and you can understand if it was ever changed in the first place. So blockchain technology is the first technology that allow you to have immutable data. But how is this immutability really achieved? Allow me to play a game with you. I will try to read your mind. I will propose your question. So how is immutability achieved? I will read your mind and the vast majority of the public is thinking hash links. But it's wrong. Hashling is the answer that I hear the most of the ring courses because one of the features that we know about blockchain is that it uses hashes basically for everything, even for linking blocks together. And the idea is that if you have an, an hashed information and the hash is in another information, you have this link of hashes all along the blockchain. If you change the information at one point in the blockchain, you have to redo all the calculation up to the most recent block. And that is said to propose immutability, but this is not the case. Why? Hashes by themselves are not a mean of immutability. Is is we can call it an alarm. It's a way that allows you to understand that the data was changed after it is changed. So it does not um, pro prevent you from changing the data. It just gives you a hint that something has happened after it happened. So it's like saying that your house is fireproof because you have an alarm that warns you if the house is burning. It doesn't mean it is fireproof. It means that if you are not looking at the flames, then you already have something something else that tells you that your house is burning. This is not what you want. You want a house that cannot burn where you cannot have start a fire in any way. That's what we refer as immutability. So we do not want data that uh, have an alarm in it that allows you to understand if it was already changed, but we want something that cannot be changed in the first place. Hash links are one of the elements that you need to have to this, but they are not sufficient alone. Say that you have 100 blocks in the blockchain and you have just the hash links like you have in many private blockchain. What does it take to change a data of 100 blocks ago and then redo all the hashes in all the blockchain? It takes nothing because you don't have strong constraint on the hashes. So any hashes do, any value of the hashes is good. So you just redo all the hashes and it takes literally seconds just to recalculate all the hashes of a part of a blockchain on a laptop. So you need another thing, it is the difficulty set by proof of work. It is a filter, it means that not all hashes are good, you have to work, proof of work, to find good hashes for those blocks. So you have a filter that makes you use work and takes time to have the right hashes. This means that if you have to uh, redo the, the, all the calculations for 100 blocks, it will take you a lot of time. So you need hash links and the difficulty of proof of work. But this is not enough. Why is not enough? Because say that you could for some reason stop this blockchain and say like, hey everybody, can you stop working? Can you stop trading? Can you stop trading? So you, if you open up this possibility, you might have enough time to redo all the calculation of the hashes, taking into account the difficulty if the time frame is big enough. So you have to find a way to make the blockchain unstoppable. So you need to have somebody that is always working on the blockchain, trying to make it longer. How you make that? You need two more things. First, you need to have a competition because you have to find a way that people are fighting against each other to extend the blockchain and then you have the price because if you don't have the price you don't have the competition so the the things that you need is having a lot of 
people that are trying to solve new blocks and add new blocks to the blockchain so that the blockchain is unstoppable. Why this is important? Because if the blockchain keeps going on in his land, then the people that are trying to change the past will always have more work to do in front. So it's sort of Achilles against the turtle, but in reverse order. What you have even better is that if you do not have just one opponent, but the whole network, so you want a lot of people to work together to extend the blockchain, that is basically, even if they, know, they don't know about it, they are working against the bad guy that is trying to change the past. So while the community is extending the blockchain with a lot of hash power, the single person that is trying to change the blockchain will have to have at least more hash power than the rest of the network, hence the 51% attack. So with those four elements, hash links, proof of work, competition, and then a prize for the competition that drive the um, game theory behind the blockchain, you can have the mutability of the data. If you remove one of those elements, then you do not have immutability because one way or another there is a possibility to redo all the math and go on and recalculate all the hash links. So when we talk about immutability, if you want to have immutability in a blockchain, you need to have those four elements or or possibly some elements that do exactly the same thing in another way. But that is the way you um, can achieve immutability. Remember, if someone comes to you and says, well, you achieve immutability because you have the hashes, this is not enough. You need at least other three players in this game if you want to win it. Otherwise, it's not immutable at all. And that was it for the coffee of today. Please subscribe, hit the bell, let me know what you think about it, if you have any other opinion about that. I'll see you in the next coffee. Bye. <laughs>